The finance minister, Ken Furiata, was in Parliament on Wednesday, 22nd June 2022, to deliver a statement on how government expended funds meant to fight against the COVID-19 pandemic and to answer some 16 questions from different NPs on his sector. Ken Furiata's 15-page statement to Parliament on the utilization of COVID-19 funds indicated that, out of a total of 19 billion Ghana cities realized from multiple sources, almost 12 billion Ghana cities were was used for direct COVID-19 spending, while 7 billion Ghana cities was used to support the budget. Whilst responding to a question by the Member of Parliament for the Botiano English Yaman from Constituency, Sylvester Tete, on interventions government is employing to check the continuous increments in fuel prices, Keno Furiata assured that government remains committed to implementing measures to address the issue. Fuel prices have been deregulated since June 16, 2015, with oil market and companies determining prices based on market forces. The increment in export fuel prices have been occasioned by volatilities in external crude oil prices and foreign exchange effects. Since January 2022, international crude oil prices have increased from some 74.17 dollars per barrel in December 2021 to a high of 133.89 dollars per barrel in March 2022. As of yesterday, 21st June 2022, crude oil prices were still high at 115 dollars per barrel. Government has intervened to reduce the impact of the price increases on Ghanaians. In October 2021, government suspended the price stabilization and recovery levies on petrol, diesel, and LPG for two months. In addition, government reduced the margins in the petroleum price buildup by 15 Ghana pesos per litre in April 2022. Mr. Speaker, government will continue to monitor the developments and act where possible.